The culture at Mount Sinai is very collaborative, it's very inclusive, and there's really a place for everyone. I think the institution is very committed to wellness for all of us, for our trainees, for our faculty, for our staff. So recognizing the fact that we are people with families and passions both inside and outside of work is really critical to helping us all thrive. I first came to Mount Sinai as a student and my proudest accomplishment has been the ability to create a family during this intensely challenging training. I've been very fortunate to have had support both here and at home to be able to make that possible, nurturing my desire to become a physician scientist. What we've learned from the HIV epidemic over the past 40 years and how it impacts people who have this as a chronic disease is that antiretroviral therapy is extraordinarily effective when taken. While patients on that therapy don't have any detectable virus in their blood, they still experience medical problems like premature aging, heart disease, or cognitive impairment, or frailty. And so our lab is seeking to understand the mechanisms that mediate that inflammation. And more recently, we've been studying the impact of the same pathways on SARS-CoV-2. Ultimately, we are trying to identify novel therapeutic targets so that we can reduce these inflammatory biomarkers and improve the life expectancy of people with HIV. In the terms of COVID, we're looking to see whether we can identify drugs or targets that may reduce some of the morbidity and mortality associated with severe COVID-19. When I learned I got the Distinguished Scholar Award, I was extraordinarily humbled and appreciative of the institution for believing in me and this extraordinary group of women who are so committed to the educational and research mission of the institution. Having a family has made me a better physician and scientist because it's kept me humble. It is definitely hard to leave the kids to come to work every day because they often ask the question, why aren't you here? Why can't you be home more? But I think as they get older, they understand that the work that I'm doing is so important in serving critical patient populations and being able to innovate our ability to care for them. And so they have become really proud of me. I have the best job in the world because I love the medicine, I love the science, and I love the education and I've been so blessed to be able to find myself in a position where I'm engaged in all of those activities at the same time. I think that I definitely found a home here.